And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. First down, Bridgewater. And all this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll run on first down. Cook, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. On the carry, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Prater on to add the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons' offense now. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Edo Smith, his first carry, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. On third down, Ryan. And that is incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And you see Dalvin Cook in the offense heading back out. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he had nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Grady Jarrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On second down now, it's Cook. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. 
nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack coming from Adrian Claiborne off the edge. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Bridgewater. And he's able to find Diggs. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. Let's go, defense. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football one-on-one -on -one here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. From the 44, Bridgewater, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, Bridgewater. This is Johnson. He's got it. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down Newman. Again, it's Cook. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Cook. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Now Bridgewater. And it's caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Vikings have taken the lead. The catch and the touchdown, they were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. Extra point good by Prater. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Matt Ryan and the Falcon offense set to get going again. Maybe he's wondering, hey, what else do I have to do? I mean, he's playing well as we roll through some of these highlights. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Smith. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. From 
the shotgun. Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Edo Smith. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there. And it's third down. The Falcons on third down. They're at 50%. Four for eight. This will be third and six. Here's Ryan to throw. The 20. There he goes left side. And he's going to score. It's a Viking touchdown. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you? So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And following the pick six, and they decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. They told, him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now it's Ryan. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. The Falcons will go for it. It's Ryan. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Prater for the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there. It's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? Let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense is going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. A pickup of 27, and they pick up the first down in the process. Ryan will throw again. And he will find his man on the outside. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
A nice pickup there, 18 yards, first down Falcons. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Falcons on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. Here it's third and three. And he'll give it here to his running back. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. They'll run for it with Smith. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. Cook strip, the ball's out, and the Falcons grab it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, it's Ryan. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. It's a loss of eight there on the first down play. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Ryan. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Ryan. And this is going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. And now nothing but green ahead of him. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. And we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. This will cost one. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again, Ryan, and he finds his tight end, Graham, and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards there, and a Falcon first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. 
Now Ryan on first down. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Falcons. Calvin Ridley already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Falcons get a bit closer. Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's playing pretty well and trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. again with Cook. What we talked about with his coach prior to the game, he's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. 45 to Mike, 45 to Mike. Check, 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 check. Check, 45 to Mike. Check, 45 to Mike. Check tight end, check tight. Check tight. Third down, Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And with inside of 10 seconds, 8 to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Throwing now. Ryan on first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. One last shot for Ryan. He's going to let it fly. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. As time has run out on this ball game. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Minnesota, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.